Welcome to another episode of Gaming and Performance. I'm your host. I'm here to discuss with you while Radeon GPUs have a much higher latency than the video ones. So let's begin. This has been an ongoing thing for me for several years. I haven't really been looking into it in the last year or two. I just happened to stumble upon it. And I come to determine once you see this particular phenomena, you don't really unsee it. You always know it's there. You just deal with it. And that is this latency where, let's say you're playing COD, let's say you're playing Battlefield, you can always take out 90% of the opponents, but then you can go back and forth with that additional 8%. But there's always that 2% of players that no matter what, what you do, even when they see you or you see them at the same time, you always lose that engagement. It's always that their bullets register first. It's always that they slide around and get you and you're just not doing enough damage. You never do enough damage to these opponents. And I determined that somehow, some way, their hardware is better than mine. Now, I didn't know how or what, but I knew that something is allowing them to get a lower level of latency that will allow them to do that. And me being late, seeing what they're doing is why I was losing those engagements. To the remainder, 98%, I can hold my own. 90% of them, again, they're cannon fodder. They just don't have a chance against me. And maybe that 5 or 6%, 7%, I trade blows with. But that 2%, it's just, I can't do nothing with, and I know that they own NVIDIA hardware. I know they have a NVIDIA GPU because once I've used a NVIDIA GPU, I realized that the issue was the latency. There's an inherent latency with the AMD or Radeon GPUs that they have been using for about 15 years now, and they have never changed it. It is the same. You see it right here on the screen. It is a registry tweak, which they always defer to needing these frames rendered ahead and which creates latency. And that latency creates you being able to miss information on your screen where it's coming in late. By the time you see the screen, they are several milliseconds ahead of you seeing the information first, which creates that contingency where you cannot run a gun against these players because they see you first. And that has been an ongoing thing for the last 10 years for me that I could not figure out. Now, I knew changing this to two on some of the older Radeon GPUs would significantly reduce frame rates. I mean, it was significant. If three gave you 250, two would give you 180, something like that. And it's just not a thing I wanted to do because I failed to understand that frame rate was like frame generation, right? We didn't have frame generation back then. So like you like to see the higher frame rates, but those higher frame rates don't equate to what's actually going on on your screen. So you may get 200 frames per second. But in reality, the information that you're getting is coming in late. So regardless of how fast those frames are coming to you, if it's coming to you late, you've already lost the engagement. That is the crux of the problem. On the video GPUs, they don't default to everything being three or four, whatever the case may be. And if it does, they found a way to remove the latency penalty associated with it that AMD has never done. Radeon team has never Never remove that penalty that doesn't require you to go out and make changes to the drivers with all this marketing stuff they're talking about. You don't need to enable free sync and all that other stuff. You don't need to enable any of that. You just have a decent enough monitor, you have no problem. You don't need to enable all this low latency stuff that they put in the drivers. You don't need to do any of that. I found a solution. I know it took me a while to get to that point, but I found a solution that fixes it. And what you need to do is you need to go to this registry, change this from a three to a two and change this from a three to a two and add flip Q size because it's not going to be there and change that to a two. Save, reboot, done. There's one more thing you need to do. You need to go to this gear cog, display, go over to override and disable HDC support. Disable it. Reboot the PC. Reboot the PC again. Do the first step in the registry first, then do this second and reboot again. And all of a sudden, now you're able to compete against 40, 90, 40, 80 overclock users who have the lowest latency possible because now you have the lowest latency. So I do thank you for your time. Have a nice day.